Hello everyone, welcome back to Madden 22, Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. We're 7-5, taking on the 5-7 Minnesota Vikings. And we're on a little bit of a hot streak right now, I would say, actually. Um, coming in this one, taking on this Vikings team that offensively um, seems about middle of the road, I would say. Um, passing game offense is dead last in the league, actually, but... You know, that is the sim um, rankings. And you got to remember, the sim engine in Madden is mostly more about what playbook you actually use. Um, it's more about, you know, do you have the right playbook, basically. I mean, that's that's literally it. I mean, you could have a 99 overall team, but if you have the worst playbook for the sim, you'll just be terrible. So there is that. So going to do a little bit of scouting here today and looking at some centers. Um, we do have Kendrick Green is a rookie, but you know, you never can have too many interior offensive linemen, I feel, and I definitely think that's a position that we could maybe look to, I don't want to say upgrade, because we did, we're, we do have Kevin Donson, we do have Trey Turner, but I did resign them, but you never know, maybe or someone nice here in the draft that we draft in the fifth round, and that makes Trey Turner, or who we're about to possibly resign. or did I just spoil that? I think I just spoiled it, um, but we're going here to Juju Smith-Schuster, and we're going to offer him a six-year, 80-plus million dollar contract, and I think this is a bit of a bargain here, going to get him really in his athletic prime, and Gonna get him locked in for six years. Um, and I think that's a fair deal. So we're gonna come back here again now. Trey Turner, another guy. Um, 28 years old, but you know, offensive linemen, they don't regress too hard. So uh gonna re-sign him as well. So we re-signed two, you know, I think decent pieces of our offensive line. Or not our, one decent piece of our offensive line, and then another piece of our receiving core. So there's that. So Goals again, we're gonna go with 15 first downs. Why? Because it's easy to do. Uh, recover two fumbles. That never happens. The CP mostly recovers their own fumbles. So we're gonna go with sack the quarterback three plus times. It's Minnesota offensive line for pass blocking. Isn't exactly the greatest. And then we're gonna go with three passing touchdowns. And then for our weekly game plan here, uh, recover three fumbles, our five plus rushing touchdowns uh, for eight. And we're going to go with, uh, I believe, five plus sacks here. And uh, we're going to try to really bring some heat on Kirk Cousins in this game and try to get a maximum amount of staff points that we can save up as we go on throughout our franchise. So here we are in Minnesota taking on the Vikings. I believe this is Sunday night football. I think it's, it's either Sunday or Thursday night football. I forget. Um, but taking on Kirk Cousins here. And Dwayne Haskins, 18 touchdowns to seven interceptions. He has had a pretty good season, I would say, actually. So, going to start things off here with a nice run here to Najee Harris. And he's going to pick up a first down right there, which is very nice. So, we come back again, first and 10. Play action. Going to hit him with that. And that's a nice throw right there. Perfect ball placement to Eric Ebron, who is back from injury. It's nice to have him back. So, now third and 14. And we are going to just sort of check this one down to Najee Harris. And he's just going to gain around four yards. We're going to go for it. Play action look. We're going to find Najee Harris again. And he's just going to fight forward for the first down. But somehow Juju Smith-Schuster, he comes up injured on that play. And he's going to head to the locker room, which it's Thursday Night Football. If a guy heads to a locker room, that basically means he's he is injured. He's not going to come back. If you don't see the golden going to the locker room animation, you're good. Um, he's going to have broken ribs somehow, and he's going to be out for like a couple weeks. So Dwayne Haskins going to take it off, going to take off with his feet and pick up that first down, get us to the 13. Now at the 11 on second and eight, going to find Najee Harris on the screen play. Man, those take some time to develop, but when they develop. They work pretty well. So we get a touchdown right there. Very nice right there. Some good blocking, which is nice to see on one of those screen plays. He properly went through the screen to pick that up. So we come back here now on defense and Adam Thielen. 
is going to burn Cameron Sutton right there. I, boy, he is not good. I just have to say that. I, I don't know what he's doing right here. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He just never attempts to tackle him. So, uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Once again, a corner is one of those things I want to work on in the offseason. So here's a nice run here from Najee Hare. So tough to bring down. And I think as we go throughout the season here, um, he's only getting stronger because what's actually happening, and you'll see this in future episodes of our recorded multiple ones I've recorded ahead, of course, but I've noticed that here's a really deep throw here to Ray Ray McLeod who gets the feet down. But I've noticed that other teams just look really tired. So I think this, uh, you know, stamina thing for the practice is really hurting teams. And here's Deontay Johnson who get No, he drops it. Drop That was a clear as day touchdown, and he drops it. We come back again, fourth and four. Chase Claypool, who had a drop issue not too long ago, comes down with that one. So now we take a 14-7 lead here. Went for it on multiple fourth downs this drive or so far in this game and came out pretty good so here's Kirk Cousins he just sort of throws this one away and they have to punt the football away so now first and ten gonna find Eric Ebron underneath and he's gonna run over one guy and then get brought down second and inches but we end up picking up the first down we go for another screen play another great block come on Kendrick Green block someone up front he doesn't he never touches anyone doesn't matter, but we get the first down. So we are really driving right here. This offense is just sort of humming along. And here's Chase Claypool again. Going to get a nice pass from Haskins. He goes into the air and gets knocked around down at the one. And so now here it is. And here's Najee Harris getting dragged into the end zone. And we have a 21 to 7 lead here against the Vikings. So now here's Kirk Cousins. Going to pass this one. Going to find Adam Thielen. And that is going to be a first down for the Vikings. So the Vikings here trying to fight in this one. Stay in it. Probably maybe still fighting for a fringe wild card spot possibly. I don't know. Here's Thielen now. First to ten again. But now here's another third and five for the Vikings. Cousins going to find Justin Jefferson. Popped by Trey Edmonds. Or Terrell Edmonds? I get the Edmonds mixed up. I think I'm still doing that. So either way, nice forced fumble right there. And Justin Jefferson had to come back for the pass and then just a heavy hit right there. So now second and four. Haskins looking, going up for it. Here's Claypool and he comes down with it. Chase Claypool, touchdown. His second of the game. And this is turning into a blowout here. That is a really good ball from Dwayne Haskins. Perfect placement. And Chase Claypool, he's just too big and strong for some of these defensive backs. But the Vikings, they would come back here. Third quarter. Handoff here to Dalvin Cook. And he gets brought down right there. So now second and three. Cousins going to come back again, stands in the pocket, going to find Irv Smith Jr., who's down at the three. So now the Vikings knocking on the door. Dalvin Cook here, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings here to make it 28-14. to Offense for the Steelers kind of stalled out here. So here they are going to Irv Smith Jr. again, who gets hit heavily. But not before he picks up the first down. So now second and 12. Cousins stands in the pocket. Stands in the pocket. Going to find Justin Jefferson. I don't know what happened right there on the zone coverage. They sort of just forgot about him. And that led to a touchdown. So now the Vikings, they're back in this game. Here's Delaney Walker. Going to get knocked down right there. Now, but not before picking up the first down. So now handoff here to Najee Harris here. And, you know, this Vikings defense has definitely stepped up in the second half. Here's Chase Claypool again. As the Steelers are going to try to drive here, get some points on the board to maybe close this thing out. 
Now Haskins standing in the pocket, going for Deontay Johnson, and that's just a little too far out in front of him. So now third and 10. Haskins stepping back here, and that one is just a little too offline for Claypool to catch up to. Going to go for a field goal. Field goal. I'm not sure what a field goal is. A field goal, and that'll make it a 10-point game. So 31-21 so Steelers. Now Cousins. Going for a deep shot here, and Cameron Sutton, I don't know what he's doing. That's just a funny animation to get right there. Uh, yeah, 45-yard penalty. So now 31-21 here, and here's a really big play from Devin Bush to stop Dalvin Cook from getting into the end zone again. So now a third and eight. For the Vikings, Cousins, quick throw. That's almost picked off from Joe Schobert. So now fourth down, do the Vikings go for it? No, they're actually just going to kick the field goal here and rely on the defense with a minute 55 left. They have all three timeouts, so they can stop the clock three times past the two-minute warning. So now third and eight. Haskins throws this one up, and that's almost picked off. So the gamble pays off here. As the Steelers, they went aggressive throwing the football, trying to close this thing out. So now Cousins, he's going to get sacked, strip sacked. It's TJ Watt coming up with that one. So now second and 26. Cousins steps back. Going to find his man right there. And that's going to get some of that yardage back. Going to have to call a timeout. They need a touchdown to win it. Third and 16. Here's another nice play right there. But that's going to be short of the first down marker. Fourth and one. So now they come back again. Passing the football. And they're going to find Dalvin Cook right there. That was borderline. I think not a first down. But it looks like he was right on the line. So now first and ten. Hayward with the pressure. He's going to find Cousins who's going to find his receiver right there. But I believe they're going to. It's almost They almost lost a yard on that one. So now Cousins with three seconds left. Time winding down. Triple zeros. End zone incomplete, and the Steelers are going to hold on to win three in a row here in Minnesota as they defeat the Vikings in a close one here, 31-24. The Vikings season, their hopes of making the playoffs are pretty much shot now at this point. So we take a look here at some of this other stuff. Kirk Cousins, pretty good game for him, actually. But then Dwayne Haskins, really nice game. Three touchdowns, 230 yards, 22 of 33. And uh, that game was really interesting. We jumped out to like a really big lead there. And then in that second half, we just really couldn't get anything going offensively. Najee Harris, 24 carries, 140 yards and a touchdown. Dalvin Cook, 17 carries, 63 yards and a touchdown. And then we come here receiving. Eric Ebron led the way in receiving. But Chase Claypool, five receptions, 85 yards, two touchdowns. Justin Jefferson and Thielen both having a touchdown. Najee Harris with a receiving touchdown on that screenplay. We lost Juju Smith-Schuster, which is uh, very tough, actually, because the free agent market is it's not exactly brimming with guys um, for us to sign to replace. And it's not going to be long term, but I, I do want to get someone else in there um, to sort of, you know, be viable at the receiver spot for sure. Just, you know, just want to get somebody else in there, another body. Uh, TJ Watt had a very good game. We get 18 staff points. So that is really nice because of one of the scenarios, which is have less than two turnovers and win. We didn't have any turnovers. So we got 10 staff points from that. And we got some upgrades to go through here. Minka Fitzpatrick, who has been kind of sus this season. Um, yeah. Kind of sus, I think. That's just me. Um, Dwayne Haskins has not been sus. Has looked like a starting caliber quarterback for us. So uh, I'm not sure why the recording cut out right there. Has looked, He's looked really good for us. And he's going to get an upgrade here. Going to be a 70 plus morale, but is a 69 overall. And throw power is up to a 90. Getting those accuracy numbers up as well. Um, 
he is a free agent. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to make a decision if we are going to resign him and uh, for how long. So, Quincy Roche gets an upgrade. I believe he is actually not on the Steelers in real life. So, there's that. Zach Banner. I believe he's a rookie. Uh, he's definitely not playing for us at all right now. But, uh, yeah. Pass protector, maybe. No, he's not a rookie. He's 27. Uh, not a rookie for sure. Calvin Taylor, another upgrade for him. If he has a broken ankle, he's, he's been getting a lot of dev trade upgrades. So he's been hitting the playbook. So broken ribs for Juju. I have no idea how he got broken ribs. Uh, he wasn't tackled on that play. He got... I don't know what, I don't know how, maybe one of the Vikings punched him in the stomach and because, because of his bad TikToks, I don't know. Currently in the playoffs, which is uh, pretty nice. Another upgrade here for Najee Harris. And we're going to keep going power back here. That's sort of what we want to go with. And now an upgrade here for Chase Claypool. We're actually going to go with uh, physical for him. Trying to get that catch in traffic up. And plus one catch in traffic, plus two release, and plus two catching. So, uh, Dan Chisnia is going to be on the practice squad for us. Because we are going to sign a living legend, really. Larry Fitzgerald went to Pitt. Probably going to retire after this season. So, why not bring him here to Pittsburgh for one last run? Why not? I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to bring him in. And he is going to wear number one, which I believe he wore in college when he went to Pitt. So bring in Larry Fitzgerald. I know it's not a long-term injury for Juju, but I just want to have another guy in here. And uh, just another option at receiver. I don't think that, that'll hurt at all. So it's nice to have, I think, personally. So when we come back... We're taking on the 6-7 and seven Tennessee Titans. And the Titans have sort of been struggling this season. They're 6-7. and seven. Things don't look to be going too great for them. So um, we'll try to slow down Derrick Henry in the next episode. I hope you guys will come back for that one. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.